Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews and on this Going Pro edition we're going to be talking with 2014 Cheetah Champion Anthony Pepe. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined this time by Anthony Pepe, another uh, of the Facial Fescue uh, crew, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be talking about going pro. I know we haven't done one of these in a while, but we thought it was important to bring it back and talk to you guys about what it takes to make that jump from being an amateur or even a house bowler to the next level. So Anthony, thank you very much for joining yeah, me. Thanks for uh, everything. Now, uh, we're here in, well, your house, the house that, as you said, made you. It did, in fact, make me, yep, absolutely. I live around the corner from uh, Story of Old, and uh, I've been coming here since I was six years old. Wow. Spending countless hours practicing and uh, rolling a six-pound house ball down in Lane when I was much, much younger, and to winning a uh, PBA title. That's, and? Uh, even though it's not a PBA title, the 2016 Team Challenge. Yes, yeah. So you've had a little taste of, just a little taste of success. I have, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, we've, we, we've been here in New York doing a, uh, a lot of work with training and such. Yep. And one of the things that you talked to me about was you don't just come to the center to train. You, you train everywhere. I do, I do train everywhere. In fact, I train at home. Really, so, so what do you do when you train at home? Well, uh, I use the uh, rev trainer at home, working on different ball motions and ball, uh, just different hand positions, really, okay. and uh, to get a better uh, understanding of uh, how it's coming off my hand. Okay. Getting a true feel of that yo-yo effect that you always want to get absolutely. at point of release. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that's a big, big uh, key for when you're bowling on uh, tougher lane patterns is getting consistent ball roll. Absolutely. Now I know uh, a lot of our, our uh, viewers at home, um, I've talked about this before about coming up the back of the ball versus coming off the side of it. Yes. Now when you get that, that, that really off the side, what happens to your ball? Well you get a lot of, um, you get steep angles to the front part of the lane Okay. Um, and you get a lot more hook down lane as well. So on a house pattern that looks really good. It sure does, it sure does. But, but on the tour... <laughs> yeah, well the thing is, Rob, yep. um, is that you want to be able to be as versatile as possible when you're bowling on tour. So, you know, being up the back of the ball isn't always key. You want to be able to come around the ball when the lane starts to transition and open up. Absolutely. You know, granted, uh, Pete Weber made a career out of doing that. Yeah. <laughs> he's um, he's a, a great example of a person who likes to come around the ball, but he has such control over what he does. And he obviously he makes it work. Absolutely. So what we've heard today, uh, Anthony is saying, you, you can't just have that one position yeah. that you're working on. You can't just come off the side. You've got to be able to have versatility, working the back of the ball, working the side of the ball, being able to play anywhere. Now there's another piece that you train with as well in the mirror you were telling me about. Yes, I, I train with the uh, swing trainer. Okay. Get a feel of exactly what's happening with my swing. Okay. You know. Uh, free versus uh, locked up or, you know, a good terminology would be um, just... Um, very fluid? Very fluid, yeah, yeah. Well, I know we've done a lot of video here and I, I've watched you and you probably have one of the freest swings I've seen. Thank you, And, and you, your Thank arm you. slot is so beautiful from where you go forward, coming all the way through, is so straight. And I think that really shows the viewers why I mean, especially on the cheetah that amplifies your mistakes. Yeah. Why you dominated that show. Yeah, yeah. I think um, that day, my brain was completely turned off. I was just going through the motions and, and not really thinking much of anything. Just letting my, my, my body take over, you know, and, and let... And that, that's all your training. You've, you've got it ingrained into your body already. There were moments on that show where I... Um, envision myself being down here on lanes 27 and 28 practicing so I can kind of relax my nerves a little bit and that was uh, that helped a lot. Um, 
Well, you heard it here, guys. A lot of great information. So if you want to make that change from just a house bowler to an amateur to even a professional, we've talked about versatility and we've talked about getting that training in so that you can prepare here so you can execute down there. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.